So there's, there's a, a, a big role for radiation in the higher risk uh, localized prostate cancer setting. And I think it's evolving. Um, we're you know, evolving our techniques, our technology is becoming better, um, and we're learning a lot more about um, high risk prostate cancer. And you know, high risk prostate cancer can be challenging entity to treat. Um, so you know, if patients come with high risk localized prostate cancer, they have two treatment options. One is surgery, and then the other is uh, radiation therapy plus androgen suppression. Uh, androgen suppression. Um, long-term androgen suppression, and then there's kind of different, um, you know, caveats to the, to whether what we to how we offer either of these treatments. Um, but again, radiation is evolving. Um, we saw a very nice presentation yesterday, JATUG18, in the high-risk uh, localized prostate cancer setting. That actually found that dose escalation at up to 80 gray in these in this patient population uh, was was extremely beneficial for clinical endpoints, um, specifically uh, including overall survival, which is probably this is the first time that I think we're seeing a dose escalation trial in prostate cancer where we're actually seeing an overall survival benefit to dose escalation. Um, in all the prior uh, dose escalation prostate cancer trials, we've only seen benefits in, in other really important clinical endpoints like distant metastasis free survival, prostate cancer specific survival, all those things. But this was the first time we're seeing it for overall survival. Now we have to be careful. Um, we always have to think about t toxicity and also, of course, patient quality of life. So I think we want to see you know, patient reported outcomes. We want to look more specifically at the toxicity between the two arms. One thing that was um, interesting is that in the uh, dose escalated arm in JATUG18, it was found that the majority of patients actually received IMRT, um, intensity, intensity modulated uh, radiation therapy, which is again, a more modern technique, more modern technology for radiation. And that may be why you know, we're, we're seeing the results that we, we found, um, but it's just something that we need to think about and, uh, and uh, just be more cautious about, but it is exciting. So there's a lot of great areas, you know, we're, we're exploring um, micro boosting, uh, like the flame trial, there's uh, exp explorations of using brachytherapy boosting, um, and then of course there's a lot of um, new technology with regards to imaging, how we actually diagnose these patients, so PSMA PET in the high risk setting, that's gonna help you know, personalize treatments um, for these patients. And and then, of course, there's um, genomic classifiers such as Decipher, things like that, that can also further personalize treatment. So I think it's very, very exciting uh, for patients that um, have high-risk localized prostate cancer. There's just going to be more, better and better options uh, for treatment uh, for these patients.